Hello guys, it's me Simo Orahara and in this video we'll talk about Kubo's words regarding Grimijo and how this character is the only one who escaped from Kubo's death, Gulchi. Also, this video will show you some of Kubo's thinking regarding his characters and how he determines their fate, such as whether Kubo was really harassed by fans in the matter of Byakuya's death or not. So, first of all, it seems that Kubo is a mangaka who likes to imagine certain scenes for his characters and he may not necessarily have thought about how he will get exactly to these scenes and I will give you two examples of this. In the year 2012, before the beginning of the final arc, Kubo said that he would let Aizen appear in the last arc while he is in the restraints and he wanted to draw that scenes for him. And this is what we saw in the final arc, Aizen appeared on a chair Chida. I mean, it's not necessary that he may have the full plot of the events that will make Aizen appear, but the scene of his appearance tied up was in his mind. The same thing happened with Kira. And Kubo from what I understand, when Kira was exposed to that attack from Basby, which resulted a hole on his chest, Kubo thought it would be great if he made a scene of Kira with the moon behind it. So can you imagine that just for that scene he made him off screen until he found the right place and the moon behind him? For all of this, when Kubo was asked about what are the things he thinks about when it comes to the death of a character, Kubo said that he focuses on one important thing, which is the timing. Meaning, is the timing appropriate to kill this character or not? So that he said, it's not a matter of luck, but does the death of that character fit its nature or not? And Kubo gave an example of that, who is Elikura. His transformation into dust fits the nature of his nihilistic personality. Elikura saw happiness in nihilism, and the manner of his death was more like that as he faded into the void. Also, even in another interview with Kubo when they asked him about Gin, whether he could return or not, Kubo said no, and that what happened to him and where he died is the right place for his death. However, when they asked him about who is the character that surpassed his planning, he replied that the only character in the story that Kubo had intended to kill since the beginning of its appearance and changed his mind in the last moment is Grimish. When he reached the events in which he must kill him, Kubo retracted this idea at the last moment so that it appeared to him that the character of Grimijo, it will be a waste if he kills him, to the point that he told his editor that he had given up on this idea of killing him. And the editor also agreed with him in this decision. And as you can see, one of the reasons that made Kubo take this decision is that Kubo was unable to find the good scene in which Grimijo might die. Because in the same interview, they asked him, is there a character who was planned to remain alive but ended up that, Kobo answered that there is no such thing but is the opposite. He said Grimijo is the only character that he didn't find for him a suitable death scene and therefore Kubo found that this character cannot be killed. Also Kubo's answer includes a very important point guys. Notice what he said at the end of his words. He said that despite his depiction of some scenes that it might suggest to the reader that his character might die but Kubo basically doesn't really want to kill that character. And I think his words will take your mind directly to what happened to Byakuya. Some used to say that Kubo want to kill Byakuya, but based on these answers, that's not the true story. If he really wanted to kill Byakuya, then he would have done it, even if the fans didn't want to. Because anyone who knows Kubo through his interviews knows that he is a person who doesn't tend to what the fans want. And if he really cared about that, he would have made Ichigo marry Rukia. Therefore, what happened to many characters falls within his personal desires to make this character remain alive or dead. And the most prominent example is Grimijo. So guys, tell me what you think about Kubo's answers and see you in my next video.